Hello, all you beautiful people. Welcome to my makeup channel. So today, I really want to talk about liners. This has been one of the most requested videos, and people do normally ask me how I do my liner. So I have a ton of tips for you guys. If you guys want to see how I do my liner every single day, plus some variations, just keep on watching. Okay, so before I start to tell you guys what and how you're supposed to apply a liner, uh, I just want to talk about the basic eye shape. I uh, have a very standard almond eye and I love the cat eye effect that's why I go for normally winged eyeliners and I extend my eyeliner till right here so you guys need to identify what kind of eyes you guys have what kind of eyes you guys have uh, like some people have doe eyes which are like a little rounder some people have really small eyes some people have really short eyes so the liner types actually depends on what kind of eyes you have so since I have an almond eye and I love a cat eye look, I definitely can go for an extended eye and I extend my eye using the eyeliner. Now the next thing that I want to talk about is the eyelid. Now my eyelid is like a medium size eyelid so I can carry off liners which are thin to like medium. I cannot go over the board with eyeliners because then you won't be able to see my eyelid. So uh, I normally go for thick eyeliners like these when I have no eyeshadow on my eye because this is the only focal point of my um, eyes at that time but when I have eyeshadow on my eyes and I have gone on, gone with a very intense look at that time I go in with a very thinner eye line so people can actually see my eyelid so if you guys have like a small eyelid that is the area between your lash till your crease this is your crease when I look straight in the mirror I can see my lid so I can also identify between my crease and my lid so if you guys have like a smaller lid so I would suggest that you should smaller lid or if you guys have like smaller eyes then what I would suggest you should definitely go in with like a thinner eyeliner which touches your lash so to say you can definitely wing it out and we'll talk about that more but uh, if you extend it a little bit here it will actually make your eyes look longer so you guys can also, you guys can definitely go ahead and do that. So if you guys have like big eyes and then bigger eyelid obviously, then you can definitely carry off like medium to very thick eyeliner. So it also it all depends on what your eye shape and your eye size is. So the third thing that I want to talk about is uh, droopy eyes. Now I have a little bit of a droop right here if you guys can see. My crease is coming on my eyelid. Now, there are very severe cases where the droop is literally covering the eyelid. At that time, I definitely suggest not to go with a wing because that would not help your eyes at all. What you can do is, you can definitely just apply liner till right here, right along your lash line and then wing it out till about right here. So don't go beyond that. I hope that makes sense. Uh, so, droopy eyes definitely are the most challenging eyes to do on a person so uh, an eyeliner which is thin and it ends right here would actually work better for you guys for eyelids that are like really big and you guys feel that they are way too big what you can do for eyeliner in those cases is that you can go in with a brown eyeliner it will give you that softness without adding more dimension to your eyes so now let's talk about wing eyeliners so whenever you're winging out your eyeliner what you technically need to do is just look at yourself straight in the mirror and just see where your lower lash line is ending like mine is ending right here and that is where my wing will start so I literally extend my lower lash line and that is where my wing starts now if you guys want a more uplifted eyes what you can do is you can go a little bit a tad tad bit higher than where your lash line is ending like if my liner is going right in sync with this what I what I'll do is I'll just go a little bit higher than that and that will give my eyes the illusion of a more uplifted eye. To give an illusion of a more open eyes, what you guys can do is, number one, you can go in with a nude pencil, light, right, light, the nude pencil right on your waterline. That really opens up your eye. Avoid applying black liner right inside because that really shuts off your eye. And uh, what else you can do, you can also apply a highlighter like right here. This also gives the illusion of a more awake eyes. Uh, third thing that you can do is you can apply a little highlighter right in the middle. This also catches the light and open up, opens up your eyes even more. Okay, so now, now let's talk about different eyeliners. 
Now what I tend to go with are these three right here. So this is the standard pencil eyeliner, this is the gel eyeliner and this is the uh, felt tip eyeliner. So I don't normally use the liquid eyeliner, I just, I don't know, I think it's a little bit too flimsy for me. So if you guys definitely want to go in with the liquid eyeliner, what you can do is you can outline the liner part with one of these and then just intensify the look with the liquid eyeliner. You guys can definitely do that. But I tend to stick to these three. So I use this on a day-to-day -day base because this really really helps intensify my eyes. I don't use this on an eyeshadow because you can't. It just it doesn't go that way. So I use this for my day-to-day -day eyeliner needs. Okay, so the next thing that I normally use is the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner. So this is something that I use for my eyeshadows. Basically, when I have eyeshadow on my eyes and I want to apply a liner, gel liner goes a long way. And this one does not budge, like, at all. The third thing is the pen eyeliner or the felt tip eyeliner. So this, okay, so this is something I've been loving a lot lately. If you notice the tip of this liner, liner it's like a pen form. So this is very very convenient for applying an eyeliner and if you don't like how intense it is, you can definitely go over it with a gel eyeliner. But this is very convenient to draw out your eyeliner. So these were all the tips that I had. Uh, I'm gonna be talking in depth about uh, what kind of liners that I do next. So if you guys wanna watch that, please keep watching. Okay, the first liner that I'm gonna show you guys is gonna be the pencil eyeliner. And this is the Lacme Iconic. You can also go in with the Maybelline uh, Colossal, but I just use this. The trick that I normally do with pencil eyeliners is, if you start from right here, if you see the pencil eyeliner, it's normally a little thicker. It's not tapered at the end. You know, it's not pointed. So, if you start from right here, what will happen is you will instantly draw a very thick line on areas that we don't necessarily need one. So, in order to actually get a very nice cat eye or a wing or any kind of liner look, what you need to do is you need to start from the middle. You guys saw, so I went right from the middle and then I took the eyeliner outwards and then I dragged it inside again from the middle and this actually works great for pencil eyeliners because it, your hands just completely follows the motion and you go very lightly and very thin right here so next thing I want to talk about is the gel eyeliner I tend to use the Maybelline gel eyeliner I absolutely love this one it's really intense and dark you can also go with the bobby brown one or any one that you actually feel comfortable with but I have used this for a long time and I absolutely back it up so I'm just going to use that so gel line is something that I normally use when I have eyeshadow on my eyes and this actually works really well for that the pencil one does not do a great job when it comes to eyeshadows so I tend to use this I also use this as a base when I have to apply a lot of eyeshadow on my eye so like if you want to go with very very dark colors like black or purple or green so I use it as a base and I'm just gonna apply with this now here what I do is whenever I have something this pointed so I like to draw the wing first and then I extend it in the inner eye so I'm not a particular fan of stretching my eyes when I apply the eyeliner I think it just gives a very different look when it's not stretched so I tend to go open-eyed and without stretching so I'm just using a mirror here I'm just going to extend it first like right here using is by real techniques 
you can also use the brush that comes with this it also works really well for liners extending the line till right here this actually helps your eyes look a lot more longer and a lot more cat like Okay, so I quickly wanted to do like a smoky eye as well. Uh, now, if you are not in the favor of doing a very stark eyeliner, you can also like smudge it out a little bit. What I use is a pencil again, and I go very, very, very close to my close, <laughs> very, very close to my lash line, and I literally trace my lash line. And when I'm smoking it out, you don't necessarily need a very long wing. I'm just gonna go with a very, very small one. I'm gonna smoke that out as well. Really being very very uh, precise about this, I'm just applying it so that I definitely want to smoke it out. So I'm not being too precise about this. And I'm gonna use this dome brush. This is also known as a pencil brush. This one is from Color Bar. I'm just gonna smudge this out. Also go in with the pencil and smudge out your lower waterline as well. I'm personally not a big fan of uh, smoking out the lid. I don't know why. I just really, really like uh, very, very stark and sharp liner. But if you guys like it, then you can definitely go ahead and do it. I definitely love smoking out the lower lash line, so you guys can try that out. feel like you've not smoked it enough what you can do is you can take a brown eye shadow any matte brown eye shadow and just go in the very very light hand and just smoke this up Okay, so the final eyeliner type is my absolute favorite and this is the pen eyeliner. This is from Maybelline. There's also one from Kat Von D that I've heard really good reviews about but I use this one. So I'm just gonna show you guys how, I, how to use this one. This is pretty similar to how I would use a gel liner when I'm using the pointed brush. So this also has a point on it. It's very easy and very convenient to use. So let's get started with it then. Okay. So I like to wing it out a little bit. Just extending it in the inner corners so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it helped someone out there and it wasn't too boring for you guys uh, if you guys want to watch more videos like these please do comment down below and uh, till the next time